What's up, everyone? We're back for some more Suga and Suchwata today with El Capitan, who I hear is one of Suga's closest friends and also a producer and singer-songwriter for, I guess, Big Hit. So I'd imagine these guys have worked together. Apparently, they're really close friends, best friends. So let's get into this. I look forward to checking this out. <laughs> This is cool, seeing a guy that's having a conversation with Yoongi who knows him so well, pointing out here, although BTS was experiencing a lot of success, the person, the human being, Min Yoongi, was uh, going through a really hard time. This is really beautiful. This is really beautiful. It's, it's making me tear up a little actually just thinking about how proud El Capitan must be of his best friend over here and knowing very well the hardships and the challenges and the dark time that Yoongi was in. To see him on stage performing the song that we worked on and being in the place that he's in now, it's incredible. I'm so happy for him, I'm so proud of him, right? So it, it is really a special feeling when you see people in their darkest moments overcome those obstacles and get to a place where they're happy and enjoying their lives. And, and it's interesting how like Suga didn't interrupt them at all and deflect any of the attention that El Capitan put on him, right? Yoongi can sometimes be quick to, you know, put up a wall or deflect when people are putting him in the spotlight or praising him in some way or sharing personal information about him. But he's like, this guy knows me very, very, very well. So there's really nothing, nothing he could say. <laughs> Very cool hearing this guy's story. It's cool that Suga's is giving him a platform here. Obviously, he has amounted to a, a big success in his life, but cool that Suga's is giving him a platform. And it's just cool to see Suga, it seems like, just enjoying his best friend over here having this platform to speak. And although Suga's probably heard this story before, I'd imagine, he's treating it like it's the first time that he's heard it and still giving him the same level of interest and curiosity that, that he'd give any other guest. It's really obviously getting vulnerable here. What was interesting was when he got vulnerable, Sugar immediately said, No, me too, me too. Like almost as a way to reassure him that it was okay. Like I, I know that feeling too when you feel like you can't sing on stage. This is, this is good to hear, right? It's important to hear when successful people or stars admit to their own shortcomings or fears or insecurities. And, you know, it's helpful for, for many people to hear this, to realize that it's okay not to have everything go perfectly well, or it's okay not to be perfect in everything that you do. And you can still be successful and obviously very relatable. Got a feel for the guy. That's uh, that's sad, you know. That's sad. Dealing with a lot of pain, and uh, you know, I, I'd imagine there's still a lot of pain in there as well. If he's unable to look back and look at himself, I'd imagine there's there's still you know a lot of processing that that he needs to that he needs to do. 
이거를 해야지 네가 하고 싶은 걸할수 있을 거라고. 음. 그러면서 내가 어, 병원이랑 막, 야, 네가 돈이 얼마나 들든 지원해줄 테니까. 와우. 그, 네가 천천히 나중에 갚으면 되니까. 일단 가수가 하고 싶으면 그 회사에 있는 게 맞는데, 그럴 거면 못 보도 고치라고 이야기를. I just really wanted to quickly say, like, how good of a friend Sugar seems to be, right? He's just such a solid, solid, loyal friend. Like, I'll pay to get your voice fixed, whatever you need. If you want to pay me back, you can. You can do it slowly if you want to. Like just pure sort of I want to give to you mentality because I care for you and I'm here for you. And that's got to make him feel amazing whether he took him up on that offer or not. Knowing that Sugar has his back that hard is, is an incredible feeling. Well, that's so beautiful. <laughs> here I am sitting, uh, sitting here tearing up. That's so beautiful. Like El Capitan felt like someone actually cared about him. Someone actually gets me, someone actually cares about me, and someone genuinely believes in me and appreciates me, right? And you can see that he felt the sincerity from Suga in that Suga loved hearing him sing. And we know, we know Yoongi, we know he just doesn't say things for the sake of saying them. So I'm sure on top of all that, El Capitan could feel that. That's sugar for you. He, he's like I've said many times. He's a very principled person. If he feels like this is the right thing to do, he's gonna follow through and act and do the right thing. Very centered in that way, and very kind of certain in his his morals and his beliefs and what the right thing to do is, and confident in that way. Like he's he's self assured in his principles and and acts accordingly. 일주일 안에 끝내야 된다 이거 아니면 곡못 낸다. 그래가지고 합숙하면서 내가 이거 한번 해봐. 이거 하더라고. 이런 인스타일로 이렇게 컷 해가지고 이렇게 하면 될것 같아. 그리고 내가 정리해서 이 스케치 보내줄 테니까 이거 하면 될것 같아. 그러니까 갑자기 하더라고. 뭐야? 야 깽다리 한번 내가 찾아올게. 깽다리 맞아 맞아 맞아. That's cool. That's cool. It's cool hearing Sugar appreciate his skills and and his abilities. And it sounds like this is a pretty awesome duo when it comes to making music. And it almost feels like maybe El Capitan can fill in the gaps and do certain things that, that Suga might not be able to do. And it's also fun just getting to hear Suga talk to someone who can understand the nuances and depth to the work that he's done. So, Changi-jong, El Capitan's first song was started. Last year, there was also a hit song that was also in Oh, wow, he produced that too. Only was Sonbi Sonbi, Tuba Tu, NCT, more virtual play. Oh, he's giving him his flowers now, which is really, really cool. Just giving him his praise and flowers. And, you know, Sugar being a producer himself, I think really respects uh, what El Capitan has done and produced. And in another kind of world, I can see Sugar being a full time producer. And who knows? Maybe that's where his career will eventually evolve into. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure there's a part of Sugar that wishes he could do more of it. Yeah, so he's saying, man, it was you, you know? I saw the potential in you, in, in you, but you were the one that put in the work. You were the one that made it happen. So he's not trying to be humble here either. He's just, just making sure that El Capitan knows that, hears that, and believes that. Oh, 
결과적으로 뒤가 다 맞았어. 나는 이제 토를 안 달아. El Capitan just I feel like looks up to Yungi so hard, appreciates his greatness, acknowledges his greatness. He's just I feel like first of all just so grateful for him being in the position that he's in now. I just feel like he's super appreciative to Yungi. And uh, it's just always fun seeing people compliment Yungi because you know Yungi gets a little embarrassed a lot of the time. You know, you see him get embarrassed there when he told them that he was right. That I was. Because the tour is long, and from that point on, I felt like I wanted to be on the stage. I felt like I wanted to be on the stage. I felt like I wanted to be on the stage. I felt like I wanted to be on the stage. That's cool. I think uh, Suga really trusts El Capitan. I mean, especially from a music perspective, but it sounds like it's kind of evolved into more than just that. Like something that Suga takes very seriously, which is his music, he can kind of just hand over. And you're not going to hand over something like that to someone you don't trust, Some, something that has your personality and your, your message and your truth written all over it. You don't want to just throw that away. 안될 것 같은데 어떡하니? 이런 내가 그런 얘기 안 하잖아 아예 음. 다 처음인데 처음이라고 이야기를 할 수가 없는 상황인 거예요. 음. 그래서 되게 세게 이야기할 수밖에 없어. 음. 이건 이렇게 하셔야 되고요. 연출은 이렇게 하셔야 되고요. 그래서 이번 투어 진행하면서 솔직히 많이 힘들었어. 내 개인적으로는 되게. 음. 본 바로는 진짜 그 부담감에 네가 좀 힘들어 하고 있을 수도 있겠다라는 생각을 하게 됐었거든. 어떻게 보면은 준비가 조금 무서워할 수도 있겠다라는 생각도 했고. It sounds like you know, El Capitan is one of those people that can, can really see when, when Suga's going through a hard time, and he mentioned it right at the beginning. He really seems to see Yungi uh, in a different way, and perhaps the struggles that El Capitan went through earlier in his career uh, have also given him those abilities to empathize with, with other people's struggles in, in a deeper way. So he, these guys look out for he. For each other, these guys really look out for each other. 사람들 잘못 만나고 막. 어, 딱네 만났을 때. 음, 그러니까. 그래, 어, 그래서 특히 더 네한테 고마운 게 많지. 왜냐면 나는 어두운 시기를 너무 혼자서 지내던 사람이었는데 진짜 네 하나 때문에 나는 밝아졌고 다시. 나도 어두운 시기였고. 그런 게좀 아들이가 좀잘 맞지 않았을까? Wow, so Sugar was like, you know, an angel for this guy. He was, you know, almost a savior for him. And I'm not trying to be over dramatic here. I, I, I truly believe that based on what uh, El Capitan is saying over here. Sugar was a guy who gave him an opportunity at doing something different with his career. As a result, giving him hope. You know, Sugar was an, a, a guy that gave him hope, gave him encouragement, believed in him, and you know, ultimately understood him in the world that El Capitan was in you know a lot of people probably couldn't relate to that back home his family and his friends but he found someone in Suga who experienced his own struggles and hardships someone who could relate to to him and and not only that see his potential and give him an opportunity Look at Eve now. That's so nice. And I feel like El Capitan would die for Suga. Just so grateful for who he is and for what he's done for him. Like that's the overall feeling that I'm getting. He's just so grateful for what Suga's done for him and just loves him so much. You can just see that. Loves him so much and would literally just take a bullet for him. You know, I think Yungi feels protective over El Capitan and I think El Capitan is probably a source of great pride for, for Suga too, just seeing where he's where he's come and you can tell just Suga just genuinely cares for him. It's just really nice to see someone praise and give Yungi his props. Not only does it feel even more genuine because he knows him so well, but it's nice just hearing it and, and Yungi like allowing it to happen. Yungi's receiving it. 
I think Yungi just senses how much El Capitan respects him and looks up to him and appreciates him. Like, as, as embarrassed as Yungi is at times to take praise, him knowing that El Capitan is getting something out of praising him, I think is overriding Yungi's like, embarrassment. Like, that takes precedence. That's more important. Even more than that, Yungi knows it's coming from a real place, and I think ultimately, because it's so sincere, he appreciates it too. Yeah, that was just beautiful. What a beautiful episode between two obviously very, very close friends. It was nice to be introduced to El Capitan. You know, he's got a little bit of like a boyish charm to him. There was some excitement and nerves and it's almost like he's in front of his idol, Yungi, which is so beautiful because they're, you know, obviously really close friends and partners, but just to see the respect he has for, for him is, is incredible. And Yungi's a little different around El Capitan compared to even his other close friends and people, I think in the sense that he's um, more receptive to, to the praise and, and to the compliments. Suga's really helped El Capitan in, in a different way than I think he's helped other people in his life. And on top of that, these two work together very closely and Suga seems like he really leans on him, like really leans on him to help him make his music, a lot of his music, what it is. So just a close confidant in that sense. I love watching this guy. I love the way he carries himself and he's just such a cool person in so many ways. So maybe I'm starting to feel like El Capitan over here, like Suga's my hero too. I've never even met him. If you want to watch my uncut reaction and analysis, you can go straight to my Patreon page. I've got tons and tons and tons of uncut and exclusive BTS content on there that you can only find on Patreon. So if you're interested, you can go there. The link is in my description below. Hope everyone's doing well. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.